Hey guys, so I got a really fun one um, for you guys today. Um, I got this uh, file that someone wanted a base cut out and it was a really cool contoured base. I thought it would be a lot of fun to work on the CNC machine. Um, I was having a lot of trouble with the CNC machine and I worked everything out. I'm going to do a video on all the troubleshooting I did and what I found um, and ways that you can help um, your home built machines work better, hopefully. And uh, But the fruits of all that labor is that this cut went almost perfectly. No flaws, uh, certainly no flaws by the machine. If there were flaws, it was mine. <laughs> so um, this thing is, is really cool shape. Um, I had to build a custom jig in order to do the flip um, because there, there's no flat surface on this thing. So when you flip it to cut the backside, you have to have some way to rig it, to jig it up. And so I made a custom jig and uh, this thing's really cool. So uh, um, I'm gonna follow up this, at the end of this video with uh, the Fusion 360 stuff, just so we can get straight to the fun stuff and, and uh, the really interesting things. So first let's watch these cuts and then if you wanna see the, what's going on with Fusion 360 at the end, just stick around. Um, remember to like, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. So. Thanks guys, check it out.
Hi guys, welcome back to Two Cherries Instruments. I got an interesting one here that I thought I'd show you. Um, this is a, a bass that I need to cut. Um, someone sent me this file and uh, it's a really cool looking bass. Um, it's got some interesting challenges as far as CNC um, machining um, with uh, three access. So let's get stuck in over here and uh, I'll show you what we're doing. Okay, so this is the file that we're working on here. It's not really a flat spot anywhere. So when we flip it over, um, it's going to be really tricky for alignment and to have a flat surface to mount that to the spoil board. So um, I've come up with this second body here, which is just uh, kind of drawn from those shapes. And it gives me a couple flat spots here that I can um, attach to the body. So what we're going to do here, let's walk, just walk through the cam. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is my bandsaw outline. I just draw this outline. It's a quarter inch outside the outline of the instrument. We'll pull it off of the bed of the, of the CNC and we'll cut out the outline along this line. Um, then we'll put it back on the CNC machine and we'll do this second contour here, which is just a, a contour. It leaves, uh, I believe, 60 thou um, after this. So it's just kind of a rough, but more defined rough uh, pass. Um, then we're going to do a final outside contour pass. And then we're going to start working on the pockets here. And then we're going to clean up those pockets a little bit. Um, I've got a scallop here because this there's a kind of an interesting feature here that needs a, a scallop. Um, and then, then we're going to do the contour pocketing, which is going to define all those contours on there. And then we're going to do a scallop to finish off everything. And then finally, we're going to do a few bores for these uh, control pockets. So once we get all that together, then I'm going to mount this little board here that uh, we're going to use to hold it to. And then I'm going to run, oh, not that one. Then I'm going to run this tool path to clean up this, to clean up this edge to make it um, true with the machine. And then when we flip it over, I can run that toolpath on another scrap piece of wood. I can flip it over and make sure that this um, body is lined up perfectly along my Y axis. And then we can just turn this over and we'll have that mounted the board like this. And uh, we can just do the same thing on the back side. We're gonna do pocket cuts. And then we're gonna do that uh, contour cut and then a scallop cut and a little bit of drilling and boring afterwards and that'll be it. Remember to like, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. So thanks guys, check it out.